What up, y'all? It is early as shit. I'm here at the T-Mobile corporate office because we have a manager meeting today. So I'm about to do that. I will see Dallas today, so I'm gonna give him these NMD Packers. So I'm bringing these into the office like a G. And yeah, we just have meetings all day. So that's really what's going on. And then uh, I hit you guys with some sneaker stuff. The review went on feed of the Jordan 1 All-Star. And then, yeah, we'll see what else is going on today. Sorry, my energy is low. I need some coffee. It is early. No, I can't be that guy. They're both? <laughs> Dang, just so much energy. Hey, what's that? Is that, is that flavor? That's soft. Oh, 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 oh D-Mac. One like right back here. <laughs> <laughs> this guy all the time. Oh, so <laughs> Man, how many how many hamburgers you eat a day now? Look at how big you are. Stacks on stacks. <laughs> You're still wearing the unapproved shirt? That's fire. That shit is unapproved. The fat tea is good. You can tell them that's unapproved. It's not on the list. I love that shirt, but it's unapproved. You don't want, the, shirt, you don't want, the, don't want to tell you. You don't want the world on the side. It's unapproved. <laughs> okay? It's unapproved. World on the side. I'm unapproved. Hey. Bring your voice down. Aren't you on vacation again for your like the 15th time? Unapproved. Weird. Okay, nice. It is unapproved, huh? It's yeah, unapproved. It's, unapproved. it's not. Yes, it's not. It I have the tea. I have the tea. Here's one. the big tea. I'll tell you what's unapproved. The tribal ones? Unapproved. The world on the side? Unapproved. Hey, hey. Unapproved, Dallas. When all you stores uh, start beating county line, let me know. It's fine. Bye. Whenever you start beating us. Bye. Unapproved. Yeah. Unapproved. Or, or, or. All right, bro. You all right. No, man. I'm gonna Later, work. Bro. I'll see you. Later, bro. Oh, no. I ain't having meetings all day like you guys. Enjoy those Packers. No, stop getting everyone in the game. They're, they're messing up my retail. Messing up the game? I don't order retail. It's on Cali Roots, so it's European, so you're gonna have to pay a little more shipping. It's about 2 30 with shipping and tax and everything. What do you got? I got three minutes, 30 seconds. What do you have? Oh, I need to click on the shoe. Oh, shit, you ain't getting no shoes. You Can you figure out the app? You're not, you're not in the game, fool. Oh, you have an app? No, I'm on the website. Three minutes, 19 seconds. Oh, mine's ahead. Are you an actual? App? Mine's a little bit ahead. Mine's at 309. Oh, look at let me see here. The Android's just a little bit behind. Yeah, like a second. Just behind. a tad. That's what matters in this game. Seconds That's what matters. iPhone, but we're about to get these triple blacks though. We're not getting shoes. It's gonna be botted out. Like All the bots here. are gonna eat this the shoe up. Size. What'd you say? Are you just filming something? Oh, I've been filming. Oh, hi, nice. You guys want to talk to the people? Yeah, let's talk to the people. You want to leave yeah, your yeah. Twitter, Snapchat? Look at these lovely. <laughs> I got 47 seconds and counting. I got 45. No, you're ahead? Yeah, 42. Get out of my face. Yeah. I'm it. Oh, no. Are you in? No. <laughs> I got the server. And... You're sure it's a bunch of code? Yeah, my codes. That's the, that's the Cali Roots failure right now. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, I'm in. I'm in. Oh, it was in. You see that? I did see you in the street. Oh, no. <laughs> we definitely ain't doing nothing now in the stairwell. It's crazy, dude. All right, later, guys. Shut up, fool. You're not in. Nothing above a 9.5. They're all gone? All gone. Unbelievable. Damn. My guy Josh just got through, and there's no sizes above a 9.5 left, so that's an L. Okay, this is real as shit. Tell me if you ready for insert famous person, work them in a metaphor. I'm almost famous like Kate Hudson. I made a haul. My friends don't really call me. Well, fuck those losers. I'm better off. Unless they're trying to get some tickets to my concert. And I just tell them they missing out if they not here. LeBron's here. Plus, my mom's here. I love my Japanese fans. It's a bomb year. Uh. No Nagasaki, and when I get up on the beat, I kill it like a. I'm not gonna say it. Don't make me say it. Well. Games don't die. What's going on? Pretty good. That's how you feel? Blue games? Huh? Yeah, today. Blue games. Look at this, it's like the vlog is peeking through the bushes. Well, this shit is fire. Jungle. Look at it, yeah. Plug him in. I was joking, y'all. I wouldn't do that to you. What did I really change my mind on? Oh, I changed my mind on the app, my my favorite album and dropped in the last year. I said what it was Big Sean. I went back. I had to run it back. Life of Pablo is still. You don't, don't like it here? I thought it was good. I didn't think it was great though. Oh man, I love it. What did you think? It was good. I don't think it was the too. best album. You guys already know. I don't even think that was the best time yet. 
In the past year? No, I'm talking just the best, my favorite album of the past year. But I really still like the Big Sean album a lot. Did right? Big Sean's album like release 2017? 2017. No, yeah, I'm just talking about my favorite album that I've heard in the last calendar year. You know what I mean? And that album was my favorite up until this February, and then Big Sean dropped this February. I was like, oh damn, it's my habit, but I ran Kanye back, and I was like, nah. Right, that's corporate America. That's just just. Uh, that's just uh, that's uh, in that last interaction. Ready? Okay. Yo, man, straighten that. Straighten what? The camera's crooked as hell. The thing is like mm -hmm. sitting sideways. Like, Boys in the day? Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. I just in bed. That's just the way. <laughs> Jeez, it's not rock. This is fire for the vlog. <laughs> My goodness. And it's a gorilla pod. You just jump. This thing is. <laughs> Oh, I, got you. I got you. This is great. It's gonna make the vlog uh, right when I walk in here. It's gonna cut to this scene. You like you're about to be our guest. Come take, take a seat. Spot, you ever seen Beauty and the Beast, Eli? Be our guest? No. All right. Man. There's a new one coming out. Yeah, I saw that. It's a live action joint, isn't it? Beast, it's not huh? a cartoon. Yeah. Oh no, no, no. It's like a movie. Huh? That's what live action means. <laughs> Maybe I'm making That's up wrong. Hey, you guys ever heard of a live action joint? Is that like a non-animated movie? Oh, that, Ooh, my did you hear Johnny Trap? Yeah. Yeah, right. So you guys are you know, <laughs> damn good. That, it's like what? Like a regular like movie, not an animated joint? Yeah. Hey, uh, okay. You're not gonna embarrass my man like that. Yeah, it's a yeah, role playing movie. Shut up. I auditioned for the role of Gaston, but they're not. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're more like a Lumiere. No, I was Gaston and I got passed on. <laughs> look more like a you got passed on. <laughs> Do you think this book could be Cogsworth? The clock? For yeah. sure! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Don't, don't get all so excited. Would you, go, would you go by Cogsworth and Lumi? Oh, I don't have a dishwasher, bro. Uh, I wash my dishes by hand. Damn, put the old school woman way. <laughs> Actually, the, the super old school woman way, I just let the women wash it. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Dang, Savage Department, Randy speaking. How can I help you? <laughs> savage over here. <laughs> have you guys heard of a guy? Have you guys heard of a guy named. Uh, oh. Shit! Oh. I, used, I was on the chair. I was using that to stabilize. No. Next, year, <laughs> next year's Valentine's. That's fucked. just the way. Of <laughs> All right, guys, we're back home, and you know what that means. It's time for the review and on feet of the Jordan 1 All Star. And if you've been following the vlogs, you know this has been a long time coming. Not a long time, but you know what I mean. Like a long time in vlog time. A long time in vlog time. Yeah bar son anyway if this is your first time tuning into the channel just don't worry about that shit have a seat enjoy the review and there they are the jordan one all-star let me show you guys the box here nothing different about the jordan box it's the same standard jordan box that you always get nothing special because they're all-star edition the only thing that i noticed that was different on the label all of them say air jordan one retro high the band ones the shattereds Everything, they all say the same shit. This one says Air Jordan 1 High AS for All Star. Not that that really even matters, but it's just different. As far as the shoe is concerned, you can see they do come with a white pair of laces and a black pair of laces. I have them laced up with one each. And to be dead honest with you, this is probably how I'm gonna rock the shoe. I did the on feet like this as well. With most Jordan ones, especially the highs, they come with two different pairs of laces or two different colors of laces. And I oftentimes rock mine just like that with one of each. Um, just depends on what the colorway is and how it kind of flows, but I really, really like that look on these. Plus it helps you guys give a better assessment of maybe what you like better. You like the white, or you like the black. Because yes, I realize a lot of you probably aren't gonna wanna rock your shoes like this. It doesn't matter. I mean, you do what you do, I do what I do, and that's what makes us us. All right, as we get into it, start with the quality. I mean, the quality is good. It's not anything over the top. It's not insane, but the leather quality on it is good. It's not Jordan 1 band or shattered backboard type quality, but it's good. No tumbled leather here, nothing crazy up here. I don't know that this paint would look as good on like a tumbled leather or anything like that anyway. Like I think it looks cool the way they did it. So I'm cool with the materials used. Hold up. Oh my goodness, that is so funny right now. Right when we're talking about quality, I just noticed Jordan brand is slipping so hard sometimes. <laughs> what is this? Look at this. Two of my holes are not even poked out right there, bruh. What is that? This is how you have to do it. Bang, got it. That's definitely probably not gonna focus, but maybe you can see it right on the top of the knife there. One hole. That is unbelievable, man. 
All right, got the other one. First world problems, I know. I sound petty as hell bitching about the quality of a sneaker just because a couple of the holes weren't poked out, but it is petty in the grand scheme of things, like in the world, but at the end of the day, for what I paid for the sneaker, like the hole should just be poked out. We'll leave it at that. <laughs> Moving right along, so the quality on the sneaker is good. Um, it's cool, you know? It's not bad, it's not over the top, it's just cool. Both of the lace tips on both pairs have the same kind of paint job with that chameleon or iridescent, whatever you wanna call it, kind of paint. Speaking of that, we might as well get into the paint here. It's that color changing or iridescent paint. You see this on a lot of like old school cars, low riders, things of that sort. People that work on cars or do paint jobs know what I'm talking about. I don't even know anything about cars actually, but I have been to some car shows and stuff like that and I believe this is a popular thing in the car community. If you guys did not know, Jordan 1s are my absolute favorite. I have more Jordan 1s than I have anything else and they're just my favorite shoe. They go with anything. I love high tops. This is definitely my style. If I had to categorize my style by one sneaker and I could only wear one sneaker the rest of my life, style-wise would be a Jordan one, hands down. Obviously, we know with Boost and all the other technology that's out there, there's a ton of more sneakers that are way more comfortable than this shoe, a hundred times more comfortable than this shoe, but this is the classic. This is something that I can always throw on no matter what, and it just fits my style. Eight out of 10 times, if you see me out, if I'm going out to hit the club with friends, you'll see me in a Jordan 1. I wore Jordan 1 on New Year's. Actually, speaking of that, I haven't even cleaned that. Look at this. This is wild. I should have my sneaker collection taken away for this. I mean, look at this. I went out on these in these on New Year's. I don't even know if the camera's picking up like how gross these are. I'm feeling gross even holding these things. Bottom line, people don't know how to walk, especially on New Year's when they're just plastered, stepping all over your shoes, women, men, cab drivers, bouncers. Just watch where you're walking. But yeah, these things got demolished. I should really do some cleanup on these Letterman ones because these are one of my favorites. I say they're one of my favorites, but it doesn't look like it does. It. Back to the All-Stars. As you know, this is a shoe I almost missed out on, but I'm really, really happy I got it because of the fact that it's something different. It's a different colorway. I know a lot of people love the OGs and I love the OGs too, but I really like to see uh, what Jordan brand is gonna do moving forward, having retroed so many shoes and done so many OG colorways and bringing them back. I like to see this kind of stuff. This is something different. I don't really remember this paint being used on any of the Jordans before. It's not like it's groundbreaking paint technology or anything, it's just cool to see it on a Jordan 1. Inside the shoe, the insoles got the jump man there inside of a, what is that, hexagon? Yeah, Pentagon's eight sides, no, Pentagon's five sides, Octagon's eight sides, hexagon, six sides. A six-sided polygon. Yeah. Look at your boy. Get up on that geometry real quick. Dang. Handles, son. And that's why you need to pay attention in school, kids. Not for the handles, but for the geometry lesson I just threw down there. Moving to the bottom of the shoe, you got that same look on the bottom, which is crazy to me. I don't even know how they did that. It's got that, like, you stepped in oil kind of look to it, which is really, really cool to me, even though these will get dirty and you won't even notice after a while, but uh, it's still a really cool look when they're clean. And I did wear these for the on feet, as you can see, so they do have a little bit of dirt on them, but it is like a translucent or see-through outsole here. And then as you get into the middle of it, it gets that chameleon look. Here's the shoe with the black lace lace tip there. Let me know in the comments which one you like better. This review is more just letting you guys look at the shoes. I mean, there's just not a ton to say. It's a Jordan 1. All the stuff on the Jordan 1's the same. There's not really a bunch of details to change. It's not much you haven't seen before other than the paint. I think they could have done a cooler box for All-Star Weekend. I think they could have done a lot cooler insole. That is not that tight to me, if I'm being picky as far as the details go. Overall, as far as the shoe goes though, I really like it a lot. This is definitely going to be a pair that I'm rocking on the regular, and I'm super pumped to have these with St. Patrick's Day coming up next weekend. Something like that. 17th, I think, is St. Patrick's Day. I'm pumped to be rocking these green joints on St. Patrick's Day. I know some people will probably be like, oh, it's not the right kind of green. It's green. I don't care. Green is green. As far as the lacing goes, this is exactly how I lace my Jordan 1s, the highs. I lace the mids a little different, but the highs, I make sure the tongue pulled up there. I just lace them up normally to here, skip the top two holes, and I just tie them off there. Make sure the laces are a little bit looser down here so that way your uh, strings aren't too long. That shit cooks, just like that. So there they are, the Jordan All-Star 1, the Chameleon 1. Whatever you want to call them is cool with me because I just wear them. As always, I can never say thank you guys enough for watching the channel. 
everybody that's hitting the thumbs up like that's so dope to me because it's pushing me out to like more and more people that are subscribing to the channel and finding the channel so that's very cool all you guys that take the time to click the thumbs up i really appreciate that because it's helping us grow which in the end is going to give me more time to create more content for you guys better content for you guys more consistent content for you guys and that's the whole goal of the channel to mess around look at some cool sneakers talk some shit and have fun so that's about it let's get into the on feet and i will see you guys tomorrow no i can't be that guy to sit and say it's all right i'm getting it uh, uh, i'm getting it i'm getting it yeah you welcome no i can't be that guy to sit and waste my whole life i'm getting it uh, uh, i'm getting it i'm getting it yeah you welcome the next Unapologetic. I live my life the way I want, so I do not regret it. I'll be in the game eventually, cause I'm so JJ Reddick. I am white, I got money, people wanna see me deaded. Y'all are chicken, y'all are breaded. Yo, let's keep it cooked up in the cage. I follow what my haters doing on their Twitter page. And send them messages and end it with a smiley face. Mikey asked me why I engage. Well, that's because I ain't made it yet. But yet it's open to the future. I'm so odd, I'm so used to getting all this love. Give it to my producer. Dancing on your face like I invented the Two step. Well, then you can really call me Einstein Because we dropping out the beat when I rhyme I know a couple people here trying to hurt me Cause all these French broads screaming mercy, mercy, mercy No, I 